is an official Roblox admin named Ellernate, and he's about to brutally hack the entire site and force it to shut down. Wait, what? Why would a Roblox admin do that? They're hired by Roblox to protect the site, right? Well, Ellernate wasn't actually hired by Roblox. In fact, he was never supposed to be an admin at all. So how did he even become one? Enter Site Test 3. This is a site that Roblox admins use to test updates before they drop, and Ellernate is about to destroy the whole site using it. See, he found out that for some reason on this site, you could steal admins' accounts. Well, sorta. Basically, he impersonated an admin by making an account under their name, which, uh, worked for some reason? And now he was closer than ever to causing havoc. But I mean, this is just a test site. Surely there's no way to transfer that data from this test site over to the real one. Oh, wait, there is. He just had to use the data from his fake admin account to log into the real Roblox site and boom, he's in. Ellernate instantly uses his newfound powers to broadcast messages to everyone on the site. And the messages he chose to broadcast were uh, strange. Annoying orange banner. <laughs> Playing Roblox is always better than going outside. I... <laughs> no, tomato is always best, silly orange. None of these make any sense, man. <laughs> and they posted so many of these. Look, this is a full list of them. There is a gazillion. But honestly, Ellernate wasn't being super harmful. See, the harmful stuff comes very soon. <laughs> but what better way to use newfound admin powers than releasing criminals from jail? Well, about as close as you can get to it on Roblox. Because he unbanned banned players. Players. I mean, usually when a person is banned, it's for a valid reason. They could, like, scam people out of money. They could hack into Roblox accounts, like, break the passwords. Or just generally sling swears like a sailor. <laughs> so when Ellernate decided to take a deleted account and make it, you know, undeleted, it's obvious the results were about to be bad. But no one could have predicted just how bad. Because this is Minish, a permanently deleted Roblox account. Ellernate decided to unban them, which instantly went way worse than anyone could have ever imagined. Because this wasn't actually Minish. In fact, the account was hacked into and doing things outside of Minish's control, like basically scamming merely a guy with a domino crown into selling his domino crown, making him a guy without a domino crown. This may not seem bad uh, until you realize the domino crown is valued at 18 million Robux, or in real life terms, 225,000 US dollars. And Eller Nate hasn't even destroyed the site yet. It gets way worse. Because in reality, I have not been totally honest with you. You see, the scale of this is way bigger than I've let on. I mean, just one guy can't destroy the whole site. So Ellernate basically shared his powers with a lot of people. And to be honest, Ellernate only really made cringy banners. But two of his friends that he gave admin permanently scarred Roblox and people playing it. Starting with Caleb244. You see, Caleb wasn't like the others. He didn't want mass destruction. He just wanted to hurt a select few people very badly, like Reese McBlocks. Now, this was a Roblox moderator for a thing called the forums. It's basically like a Roblox social media. And she was about to say horrible things out of her control. I'm a big fat horse. I like d in my mouth and ears at the same time. This is obviously an awful thing to say. So why would a Roblox moderator say it? Well, she didn't because it was secretly Caleb244 controlling her into saying that. But Caleb wasn't happy stopping there. He had to inflict more pain. This is Crow, another unfortunate Roblox admin that Caleb just discovered. Hey guys, guess what? I like d in my... I don't even know what that word is. Oh, and uh, remember that Minish person from earlier? Yeah, the one who managed to snatch this domino crown from Merely and basically scammed $225,000. It's believed that that was also Caleb. So generally speaking, Ellenate just hacked the site to be funny, send out site messages to everybody, be generally harmless, but uh, very rambunctious. Caleb hacked the site to deal maximum damage possible, but on a very small scale. But the thing they have in common is that neither of them managed to destroy the site or even really come close to it. So that's where the third mysterious figure comes in. I trapped. See, unlike those other guys, I trapped was about to cause mass destruction. But there was a problem. I mean, how do you even...
even destroy a site. He could maybe force the servers to shut down, but that seemed out of his grasp. He can try and hack every single player's account, which I don't need to explain why that's dumb, but all of a sudden he got the perfect idea to subscribe. I like to ask at the middle of the video because by now you know if you actually want to subscribe or not. Honestly, it's your choice and you are not allowed to subscribe to the channel unless you are enjoying the video. I mean it. All right, but yeah, he did get the perfect idea. You see, Roblox has one major weakness, something they prioritize more than anything else, making money. I mean, look at this site. You see this? Do you think this is free? They have massive bills to pay. So I trapped realized if he could somehow stop the flow of money going into Roblox, he might genuinely be able to destroy it. And once again, he had the perfect idea to make it happen. You see, this site, Roblox, makes their money from people buying Robux. And his plan was to make Robux completely worthless by making everything on the site cheap as dirt. He released all of these Roblox items for stupid cheap prices. These expensive limited Roblox items that weren't even supposed to be released somehow hacked into the mainframe, got these, and released them. They weren't exactly free. See, people still had to have at least like one Robux to buy them, I guess. Which means he wasn't giving away stuff, right? Wrong! I Trapped also gave a bunch of random people money and items. I mean, there's a whole list of it. Look, Q-Man obtained the Dominus Imperius, the most expensive Roblox hat. Domino Crown, Banhammer, and Admin. Mr. Row got 350,000 Robux. X-Famous obtained Dominus Frigidus, another super expensive Roblox hat. So yeah, the very concept of Robux was killed. Roblox can no longer make any money from their site, meaning it was about time for them to respond. But before they got a chance to, I'm about to show you the most iconic part of the day. If you know anything about this hacking incident, you definitely know about what I'm about to show you. Recognize this face? Roblox certainly didn't because they never uploaded it. This was the C colon face, an item that was uploaded from the Roblox account. Look, you can see it there, but not by Roblox themselves. One of the hackers decided to upload this, and honestly, nobody knows who. And funny enough, that wasn't actually the only face uploaded. There was also this face. Hi, guys. Don't derp underscore image, which uh, looked like this. And funny enough, both of these are still on the site. Roblox didn't even delete them. Well, the faces aren't, but the image files for them are. Look, hi guys, derp image uploaded by Roblox. C colon image uploaded by Roblox. At this point, Roblox is crumbling. They have to respond. The economy is in shambles. Surely they have to respond. Roblox admin accounts are being hacked and saying horrible things. They have to respond. The site goes offline. No one can connect. Nobody knows what's happening. Roblox is gone. It's dead. The hackers have officially won. So how does Roblox respond? A blog post is uploaded, written by the staff of Roblox, responding to the situation. This is that blog post. I have it pulled up right now. We experienced a site issue the evening of April 1st that triggered alerts, and we intentionally took the site offline. Yeah, they took the site offline. That's that's why it went dark. Several assets were released from our backlog that were not ready for production. Several accounts were incorrectly granted large amounts of Robux. Today, we have deployed patches, developed tools to increase security, and worked on plans to improve our response times. Roblox is basically assuring people that they're helping to fix the issue. But yet, yeah, the hackers didn't shut down Roblox. Roblox did. They saw everything going poorly and just decided to pull the plug before anything got worse. But it wasn't down for long. The site was brought back later that evening. Yeah, the same evening, they recovered that quick from the hacking incidents. And the catalog shop was brought back the day after, after they fixed all the broken Robux amounts for all the random items released, etc. But there's something I'm not telling you. One last twist in the story. The whole hacking incident I just described was a lie. This classic story that you've probably heard a million times isn't even true. Well, sorta. While researching this video, I found authentic sources who were there the day it happened. People who wanted to remain anonymous because they're sick and tired of this story being told so many times and connected to them. But they told me something I didn't expect. The story as you know it isn't accurate. I mean, don't get me wrong, the site really was hacked. All of this stuff I just talked about really did happen. But no one knows who did it. No one knows who was involved for certain. According to some, Ellernate, the main mastermind behind it, wasn't even involved. But hear me out. I don't think that's bad at all. This story is exactly 
that. A story. And in my opinion, a great one. One of the most iconic stories in Roblox history that makes people happy to learn about. It's just important that sometimes we take fun stories with a grain of salt. Bye!